John, everybody is wondering on the drop cams what the heck you are doing. Are you angry? I am so angry. I am just taking it out on this cardboard. This oh. innocent little cardboard. <laughs> no, actually what I'm doing is I'm stress testing a knife. Um, That's what you call it. Yeah. Um, or I'm eliminating stress. Or I'm, I'm either eliminating my stress or I'm giving this knife actual stress. What I'm doing is this, this knife is a d new kind of technology. You're like, well, it looks like a knife to me. Well, it is, but it's not made out of normal knife material, okay? Normal knives are made of steel or stainless steel, or sometimes they're made of Damascus steel, which is kind of a blend of both steel and stainless steel. The reason why you want to use steel is because it can be very hard. Um, and the reason why you want very hard is because when you sharpen it, it holds an edge. But the problem with normal steel is it also rusts and it has some other characteristics like that. And then stainless steel doesn't rust, but it's also softer than regular steel, so it doesn't hold an edge very long. This, this blade, it's made by a company called V-Matter, V-Matter Knives. And this is a totally different type of steel. This is an injection shaped steel. So normally, you know, you watch a TV show or something and they're, and they're like beating on the steel on an anvil and stuff. This knife was never shaped like that. Oh, and if you feel it, feel it. It's a little warm from all the cutting I'm doing. Don't touch the top. <laughs> See, feel how warm it is? Cause I'm cutting so much. But the point is- You're wearing it out. This was never forged. What they did was they developed a mold that was the shape of this knife and they basically squeezed liquid hot magma into the mold and the knife came out perfectly finished out of the mold from this metal alloy. It's called an amorphous alloy. And what it, it has certain characteristics that you just don't find in normal steel, one of which is this amazing durability. So one way to test the durability of a blade is just to sit here and cut uh, <clears throat> cardboard. You would think, oh, it's cardboard, it's not that big of a deal. But you cut enough cardboard, it will dull a blade. You cut quite a lot of cardboard. So far I've cut all this and it's cutting exactly the same as when I first started. So. That's pretty good. And this knife, the reason I have it is um, it's an Indiegogo campaign, but it only lasts for about two more days. So we'll post, I'll do a little post on it here. And so you guys watch for, or look, look on the, you know, the website or Google Plus or whatever, and I'll give you a link to it. But so far, I'm really impressed with this knife because they promise you never have to sharpen it, not for 10 years. Slow. In fact, if any time during 10 years it gets dull, you can send it to them and they will sharpen it for you. Just look how fast I'm cutting through all this um, cardboard. I mean, it is still very, very sharp. And you should probably leave a, a you know comment, um, don't try this at home. Yeah, you might not want to do that at home. <laughs> I mean, you cut your finger off with this thing. So it's... I'm impressed. I'm going to keep cutting boxes. I'm going to make a huge pile just to make sure, but it is not getting dull after, and it's warm and everything just from all the cutting. It's, it's, a, it's really impressive. They're selling kitchen knives made of this stuff. <laughs> if you get awesome. one of these kitchen knives, I mean, you will be able to chop everything and it will never go dull, which would be awesome. And so is one of the features of this beautiful knife, mm -hmm. the fact that it can cut through toothpaste? Actually, what the heck are you doing with toothpaste? It is. It is. I'm going to cut through this. I, I've always wondered, like, this is aqua fresh. You know, when you squeeze this stuff out. We don't need to watch you brush your teeth. When you squeeze it out, you see how it comes out and it's got like different colors and stuff? Why? How do they do that? I've always wanted to know. So you're going to. I'm going to do this. Let's see. <laughs> kind of uh, elasticy, metally. Oh, there we go. It's in there as a swirl. Yeah, I always wondered how they did that. So I thought I'd chop into it and see. 
think it just pretty much comes out of the machine that way. It's magic. They, they squeeze it in with the, somehow with the machine. Aren't you guys glad you just stopped in on today's vlog? It's pretty messy. It's not yeah. real clean or anything, but it looks like it's just kind of squee. I guess they squeeze it in and then they heat this end and clamp it down and then they heat that in and form it into a little twist. I don't know. We need to make a mental note. <laughs> Let's go to a toothpaste factory and see how they put it in the Sounds tubes. like a good idea. All right. <laughs> Bye. I got more cutting to do. Okay.